if you want to make a, a tad bit lighter. You know, there's so many color combinations. And uh, one more thing I want to mention too is that you can also add colors over colors. In other words, right now if you see I'm selecting yellow, maybe the light source right here is... Whoa! Crap, I keep doing that. The light source maybe right here is yellow. Or, you know, you're the artist. You can do however you want to make lighting appear like that. But if maybe I want to make it like put... Uh, very light touch of yellow. One second, sorry. If I want to put a very, if I want to maybe just, like I said, just put over a light touch of yellow to give it this effect that maybe the sun's hitting it. You know that I can do that. I can put it over the layer like so and you can do this with paint too you know with paints if you can keep uh, overlapping it's all up to you but as you can see now it's getting a little bit of different effect by putting that yellow over the blue especially if you deal with watercolors a lot with watercolors a lot of times you'll have multiple layers or just like like brush strokes or just a multiple layer and then you'll go over another layer. You wait for that watercolor to dry, then you put more blue on, and then another layer, and you put more blue on. And so you can build intensity like that, and then you can go back with another thing and just, whoops, lightly go over it. You know, and just keep building over, wait for it to dry, go over. Same thing is true when you're doing uh, computer stuff, you know. It's up to you how you what colors you want highlights, what colors you want dark areas. But just mess around with it. Uh, I hope these tips all help out. Something else I want to point out that I think is important is how colors also make something seem more cartoony or more realistic. And I just very quickly inked over the sketch I did. So I'm sorry about the ink job, it's it's not really good. But like I'm gonna just go over these two. I'm gonna use the same hue but just change the intensity for each one. I'm gonna show sometimes like how I've noticed that like a lot of styles just because the color is so intense, like just that that color is so intense that it's almost an unnatural form of color while I lower but when I lower the intensity on this other Mario you kinda get what the hell You get a totally different feeling between the two. Just in the red itself, you get a different feeling. And then say for the the overall. So with this blue here versus on the more kind of realistic. I put a it's a lower intensity and it has this creation to look more to look more realistic which is interesting like so I'm gonna keep going and I'll keep showing you so look at that like compared to that so far and then we'll get into the mustache a brownish color That will make his brown more neut more neutral. And skin color.
his skin color is different again. And so there you have like pretty much uh, you have the same character in terms of uh, this is pretty cool. Once I'm really sorry once again about the poor ink work and everything, but uh, once again you, you have the same character, but it's different colors and of course it's a different style. This one is drawn more like this to be more realistic while this one looks more cartoony and that's what I'm kind of getting at here is that colors like I've noticed I was just walking through the park the other day and I was just observing all the colors in nature and it seems like naturally and and especially if you're drawing realism it seems like more colors aren't this intense there are a lot more uh, the intensity is taken out there are a lot more like a lower intensity compared to this so like that's what I was just observing and it's it seems like too when you have a lot of that change even though even though these are both outlined they're both cartoons it's amazing how this one really does have a feeling of being more just based on the colors it has a feeling of being more realistic in its presentation So once again, these two figures compared. Uh, so yes, yeah, so the more less intense colors. So like we just showed what I just did here. get something else I want to point out is that I mentioned briefly before is that you as an artist you have the ability you have the ability to create the colors you want you have the ability to manipulate them uh, and something I just want to point out is that there's no set way to color something like if you look at works of art by Gilbert Stewart he did the the George Washington paintings like it was a large variety of colors and right now I'm just trying to get skin color and you can see I'm using a yellow right now I'm changing up my palette constantly and I'm just trying to get a skin color and that's what uh Gilbert Stewart did. He, he mixed and matched uh, colors like intense red and then he even mixed in a little green, just a touch of green in his works. Maybe add more white to make it But like to, to get your own skin color, you know, something like this, I'm starting to get a skin color here with those colors I put down. Uh, that's something else to point out. So I just want to thank you once again for watching. I'll keep making more videos. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave feedback. And thank you again for subscribing. This is awesome.